Um, that leads me into the topic today. So I wanted to talk about, unless you had something else. No, I'm good. Good. Um, people talk about two things. Uh, less is more. Less is more. And that is appropriate for a lot of reasons. And then sometimes more is more. So I want to talk about when less is more and when more is more. So what I kind of mean by that is a lot of times people... Figure riddle. Yeah. So a lot of times people will go overkill on things yeah. thinking that they're benefiting themselves when they're they're not. It's yeah. actually it's actually to their detriment yeah. to keep going more and more. Mm -hmm. And then other times they won't do enough of the thing that they either slightly value or think that they should be doing. They don't do enough of it and more of that would actually be better. So just two like quick examples to show the contrast is one with working out. Yeah. A lot of times like more isn't always better or skating like not all not just like the more ice you can get the yeah. better. Yeah. On the flip side of that, sleeping more sleeping is better. Like yeah. more sleeping is better. Like yeah. if you don't get enough of the sleep, it's always better for you to get more of, of the sleep yeah. that you need. Yeah. Right. So those are just two examples to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about. Does that make kind of sense? Yeah, no, what I'm no, saying? That makes sense to me. I'm sure 93 and a half percent of our listeners will get it too. Yeah. So <laughs> there's going to be a few that goes, what? Yeah, no, so so we'll we'll, we'll see we'll see where 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 we end up going with this. I want to talk about it first in terms of uh, obvious is going to be just with training stuff. So, yeah. um, the caveat I want to I want to put on this one is a lot of times I've talked about this before too. Is kids think that they're very nervous about doing too much. Yeah. So parent like a lot of times they'll be like, oh, this is a little bit sore. I'm not going to work out today or or whatever. So I need to put a disclaimer on this is given that you're working out hard and you're working out enough to begin with, then the less is more yep. strategy applies. Yep. If you're someone who doesn't know how to work hard yet, or you haven't done a ton of volume on yep. anything yet, or you don't know how to push yourself well. yet. Yeah. Your intensity isn't high, all that stuff. Then this won't apply because now you're in the more is more category where it's yep. like, you don't even know how to hit baseline yet. Yep. But once you hit your baseline of you're working really hard, it's very important that you don't go overboard because it's, we were talking with, uh, a trainer on the phone the other day who's with uh Montreal Canadiens organization and we were talking about this exact thing it's like at a certain point it's going to be overkill so yeah. what well, his term was is a, there's a cost for everything you do for sure yeah there is a cost so for we were talking about off-season training with some of our guys and I have them lined up to for six workouts a week with one off day but layered on top of that they're going to be skating as well yeah so it's like at a certain point are, is that going to be too much? And that's yeah. something that we got kind of have to monitor going through the off season to make sure that they're not going to the point where they can't recover. Because one of the things we talked about last week or a couple of weeks ago, kids going through the playoffs or, or kids that are playing a ton of hockey in the season, you're working out every day, yeah. right? Because you're doing a skate or you're doing yeah. a workout or you're doing a whatever every yeah. day. Yeah. It's impossible to recover. You can't. So Season's a beat down. So now you're just trying to keep yourself... The, you're trying to minimize how beat down you are. Yeah. That's Try not to is, regress too much. Right? So you don't want to recreate that when you're starting to go through off-season stuff or whatever. When you're training in the gym, you don't want to go so hard that you can't it's you can't recover and get the benefit of the yeah. work that you did. Yeah. You know, so a lot of kids will think about I need to be in the gym more or whatever the case is. When kids are younger, they don't think about it as much because they don't realize the value of the gym yet. Yeah. But for some of the guys, it's like you have to pull them back. Like, yeah. hey, man, you got to you gotta relax. So you really need to understand the balance between where what, what is enough and what is too much when you're training off ice in the gym. Is that anything to add on that? No. So for... No. So then for, uh, I'm relating this to the off ice as well. So now when we, or on ice as well, when we talk about on ice training, this is really where it shows for me, this is a really good example of m everyone always thinks more is better when you're, when you're going on the ice. And I know you can go on a rip on this one for a long time, but kids will think I need to be on the ice as much as possible. I need to do every skate possible. I need to do as much skating as I can, all that kind of stuff. And it ends up being overkill where they start to take away from the gains that they're actually getting. So whether it's with spring hockey, whether it's with extra practices, extra private lessons, hockey class at school, pick up with your buddies, whatever the whatever the thing is, it's not always more is better. And it actually ends up hurting you over the long run if you just keep doing more and more and more all the time. You know? Yeah, and it, it hurts you physically, but it also hurts you mentally. 
So with my biggest thing with that is, uh, and, and that's actually with our conversation with the, with the strength coach the other day, uh, says is what I always say all the time. It's like, you want to go into basically every session, especially on the ice, hungry, right? So if you're a kid that, or player, and you think you have to do more all the time, it's like, okay, so if you skate seven days a week, there's, I guarantee you there's going to be a couple of those skates where you're just there just because you committed to it or because you think you have to. Is your mindset into it? Are you actually there to actually get better? Or are you just going through the skate to get reps? Because if you're just going to do something to get some reps and you're not really into it, that's I wouldn't call that a quality workout, right? And the thing is, is also is when your brain goes, everything goes. That's a, there's a saying that goes, fatigue makes cowards of us all, yeah. right? So if you're if you're walking around fatigued or in a fog or half assed, then you, the gains will not be there. They can't be there. So I would rather take someone um on the ice once a week or twice a week where they can give me quality quality ice and and so they and not take away from the gym sessions rather than just doing a whole bunch of stuff and then at the end of the summer like because the thing is is like if you go from season to off ice and you do this for year after year you know like i could see it in my son like i it was so interesting to watch the difference of youth hockey to now this is a business he's been invited to go to a couple things he goes no done i need to rest and get this off my plate for a bit i need to just cool the jets man right Absolutely. and 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 it's a very intelligent thing to do because you know what it's missing uh not skating for three four weeks is not gonna not gonna hurt him he's been doing it for 16 17 years oh right? yeah you well, know and, that, and that's when when they got back charlie and and c i'm gonna do the same with the guys that are still in playoffs right now it's like you're not allowed to do anything yeah and by not doing anything what that means is they're I'm letting them establish a new routine. So they're getting into their workout yeah. times and they're getting into the new flow of being yeah. back in a different schedule. Yeah. But everything is like 50% pops. Yeah. It's just because to keep the blood moving. It's just to keep, yeah, stay active, keep moving, but take a break, man. Yeah. You know, and, and but you can see mentally they're getting into it though. Right. Because they're getting hungry to get, to get, to get going. Exactly. And that's yeah. what you, that's hundred percent what you want. Because they're motivated, right? Yes. It's like you take a dog to the park and he sees something he wants to run at and you just yeah. hang on to him, hang on to him hang yeah. on that, until you let him go. Yeah. And then he's going after it. Yeah. Right. And, and yeah. one of the things that people talk about a lot, there's that 10,000 hours rule that floats yeah. around. I want to touch on that yeah. too. 10,000 hours, like that, that's fine, but it depends on what the quality of the 10,000 hours is. Right. Yeah, that's that's the intentional that's, practice, that's, deliberate practice. And people forget that part. Like yeah. they think just you need to shoot your pucks, you need to do your skating, you need to do to get to ten thousand hours or yeah. whatever. That's like a good baseline yeah. metric that people use. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, but it depends on what the yeah. hours constant like what are we yeah. doing during those hours, you know? Yeah. And if you got a kid that's checked out, mailing it in, not paying attention, you're not just gonna default get better all the time. You know, yeah. like when you might get some of that when the younger you are, the easier it is for that default to get better to happen. But over time, it starts to get, you start to get bored. You don't care. You don't value mm-hmm. the, the workout or the skate or whatever.